Hey, what's going on everybody? This is D back again with another movie review and this time we're going to be talking about Face Off, the 1997 action film directed by John Woo and starring John Travolta and Nicolas Cage as well as some other uh, recognizable faces show up in this movie. Uh, Face Off is a movie that was a uh, kind of a part of Nicolas Cage in his kind of mid 90s action tour that he was doing where he had The Rock and then he had uh, Con Air and then he had this movie Face Off and he might have had uh, another action film or two in there as well but those three were the standout kind of action movies from Nicolas Cage that were actually Rel you know pretty good and entertaining and relatively well received overall um, interestingly enough though I never actually saw face off beginning to end I actually only would see bits and pieces of it but never actually finished the whole movie up until a couple nights ago I decided to sit down and really watch it beginning to end so these are kind of my thoughts about it I will for those that care this is going to be a spoiler uh, review I'm not going to really pay attention to whether or not I'm spoiling anything so just kind of be aware of that a uh, real brief a uh, synopsis of the plot uh, John Travolta plays Sean Archer who is an FBI FBI agent Nicolas Cage plays Castor Troy who is just a super terrorist just all around headache for uh, the law and he's uh, the movie opens up setting the stage for just the 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 emotional energy between these two characters because the movie opens up with Castor Troy uh, in a attempt to kill Sean Archer, he actually shoots and kills Sean Archer's young son. So we, we already, from the very beginning, get a sense for the venomous and the hatred that Sean Archer justifiably has for Troy. And so, uh, you know, kind of fast forward a little bit. After a series of uh, action scene uh, set piece type events, Sean Archer is able to uh, incapacitate Castor Troy. It's not quite clear whether Castor Troy is dead or alive. Uh, for the purposes of the movie, it seems like he's in a coma. And to, a, to achieve an objective, Sean Archer undergoes a procedure where he uh, gets a face transplant. He basically takes Castor Troy's face and puts it on his own face, on his own uh, cranium, I guess, his own skull, and has to uh, go into prison undercover to try to retrieve some information regarding a possible bomb placement and try to retrieve this information from Castor Troy's brother and uh, you know things transpire Castor Troy comes out of his coma uh, faceless at the moment but Sean Archer's face that has now been removed because he took Castor Troy's face Sean Archer's face is there in the facilities and you know they get the the surgeon that did the original surgery they bring him in at gunpoint and they have him uh, do the same procedure uh, for Castor Troy except with Sean Archer's face they put Sean Archer's face on Castor Troy and now Castor Troy is parading around as FBI uh, agent Sean Archer and so all kinds of chaos ensues from there I won't really go into any more unnecessary details you get the idea these two have to battle it out and uh, kind of it's one of those just may the best man wins type scenarios so what I thought about this movie I thought this was a pretty good watch. This was a pretty entertaining watch. It had goofy moments, but in the end, it all kind of came together and worked. I will say the, the, the hardest thing to buy about this movie was the sci-fi aspect of the whole face switching uh, idea. I don't want to say gimmick because that, that has a negative connotation to it, but uh, the sci-fi kind of feel of of the face switching never really seemed like it was a part of the same world as the just normal 90s action environments it's just you know guys running around in suits and ties with pistols and you know car chases and shootouts uh kind of you know well done but still everyday kind of action fair and so the whole facial switching thing felt like it was a part of a different universe than the actual rest of the movie which is kind of interesting in a way it is creative and it is unique it is definitely a very memorable concept and just a kind of memorable uh movie but th there was somewhat of a of a disconnect there like there was just something 
the face so the facial switching thing was that was the concept that you really had to buy into to kind of let you really enjoy the rest of the film i think and so once you kind of just let that concept just exist and don't really overthink it too much then you kind of really have a lot of fun with the situation and there is underneath the surface the movie is kind of deep actually just in terms of the situation the setup again i'm going to kind of spoil things in terms of what i talk about let me check my focus here um but just in terms of kind of the setup because you, you you know this guy this man kills this other man's young son and then that man takes on that man's face so now every time he looks in the mirror now he sees the face of the man that killed his son so from just a psychological perspective what that does and then the man that murdered his son he takes on the face of of the man who's uh the father of the son that he murdered and now he's you know at least one time being intimate with that man's wife you know around the family all those type of things and then when they do finally see each other and john travolta actually does use the line in the movie he says uh, it's like looking in a mirror only not which is just a perfect kind of description of what that situation would be like and just um it, it was just it was kind of uh, and then in the end how the movie ends with you know spoiler alert uh, Sean Archer, John Travolta's character, the original FBI agent, he raises, they decide to bring in and raise the young son of Caster Troy. So it, uh, that the, the way the movie kind of plays out is actually very good, very impressive, just from a storytelling standpoint. And I think that kind of is really what drove the overall popularity of this movie because when i kind of look around everybody for the most part speaks about this movie in a relatively high fashion and i think the story the story aspect of it is what does that that is just checking my focus here that is what brought the movie together for me because that because it is very you know underneath the surface of just the kind of the high octane kind of action and guns and all that type of stuff underneath the surface of all that there's some kind of deep um things going on this is actually a dark situation when you really look at the scenario at all the angles it's a it's a messed up situation so yeah so positives about the movie great action um you know i've seen better done action in movies but it was good there were some good moments but it just in terms of just judging the the movie the action set pieces themselves there's definitely better you know action films out there but this is not uh bad at all there is some exciting stuff going on here uh but in the end the actually most interesting thing about the movie is the story itself and how that actually ends up um playing out it is it is it's a pretty good film i gotta say and of course john woo has uh checking my focus again john woo has a lot of his kind of signature things going on on here with the dual wielding wielding dual pistols um there's a the doves again the slow motion with the doves he he kind of repeats that a lot of those ideas in uh mission impossible 2 where he had a lot of the slow motion and a lot of the the doves in certain scenes and things like that so and i didn't mind it it was kind of a nice little trip down uh, memory lane the the nostalgia because i remember when john woo was kind of um making waves here now you know obviously he had been doing his thing for years but i remember when he started really kind of getting some um hollywood american films out there a lot and his name was really kind of ringing bells so this was a trip down memory lane watching a lot of the slow motion type stuff that he was doing uh but i'm gonna cut the review there in terms of negative things for this movie not really a lot of negative things the only thing i might point out is nicholas cage is nicholas cage so you kind of gotta be a Nicolas Cage fan to like appreciate what he does in this movie he is very just over the top the character is kind of a joker like character in actuality there are some similarities between the relationship with Batman and Joker and um Sean Archer and Castro Troy in this film Castro Troy is very much like a uh kind of 
built off that Joker mold. Not exactly, not exactly like the Joker, but that kind of just zany, psychotic to the point of just you really can't. There's nothing you can do with this guy but probably kill him, like that type of character. Um, he does have that going on, just that kind of loony, uh, psychotic way about him, and lots of laughing and giggling and all that type of shit. Psychotic smiles with the big eyes and just really over the top type stuff. So if you don't like just like that type of stuff from Nicolas Cage, uh, you might find him kind of hard to deal with in this movie. Uh, but it's a it's blatantly a Nicolas Cage movie and a John Travolta movie of course but it's blatantly a Nicolas Cage movie so anybody that's choosing to watch this kind of knows what they're getting into uh from him so there is that otherwise if you're a fan of just that 90s action movie this is just straightforward action pretty much it's really kind of a throwback so if you're a fan of that definitely uh check this out something i might compare it to uh without giving it too much thought is assassins with sylvester stallone and um uh antonio banderas which i have reviewed on this channel i can't remember what i said about it but i have reviewed this uh reviewed that on this channel so you might want to check that out maybe see what i thought about that but quickly off the top of my mind that is the quickest comparison i will draw is uh assassin so that is it thank you for watching um you know always more stuff coming i got another review coming uh i'm about to film hopefully after this one so just there'll be more stuff coming as usual until the next time i will catch you on the next go round Thank you.